Okay, so we're going to do a quick video on how to use a double leash and better ways to secure your dog to a leash, especially if you have a dog that thinks that they're an escape artist. So the first example I'm going to show you is just your regular leash. And you can see these things can come off easy. This one's kind of loose. I'd like to have it a little bit tighter, but in general, these are just terrible walking dogs. If the dog wants to get out of this really bad, it wouldn't be very hard for them to do. So this is good for just keeping tags on your dog and stuff like that. This double leash, which I got this from Learberg, has two places to attach, either a harness leash, prong collar leash. So you just have a backup system here. So what we're gonna do is gonna put the harness on Misha. This is a Freedom Harness, it's a pretty well made harness. You can use any one you want, but I would cheap out and buy something that's not very sturdy. It's pretty obvious to see which ones are made well. clamps in here nice easy she's been fitted every single spot there is to be adjustment I've measured her to make sure it fits tight so when you pull up here this actually tightens now where you get to tr into trouble is when you use the front leash if you have a dog that likes to pull a lot of times they'll pull in this direction causing weak points but overall this looks really good but in order to have a backup you can attach the short end to your collar and the long end to the harness. Or you can reverse it. where this part of the harness is gonna be doing most of the work. And this collar here is just gonna be a backup. Now, if your dog is extremely flight risky, what you wanna do is use a slip lead. This here, we're just improvising the regular leash. Put the slip lead on. We'll use a harness. That way, you don't have to really work the slip lead too hard unless you run into problems. That way you'll be able to stop the dog if they start to try to roll out of their leash, roll out of their collar. <laughs> 